The Border Crossing Data Program provides users with monthly and annual incoming crossing counts by mode of transportation from Canada and Mexico at the port level. Data are available from 1996 to present and are updated on a quarterly basis. The Bureau of Transportation Statistics of the U.S. Department of Transportation partners with U.S. Customs and Border Protection to provide counts for the number of pedestrians, cars, buses, passengers, trucks, and containers entering the U.S. from Canada and Mexico at land borders. CBP does not collect comparable data on outbound crossings. The Border Crossing database is located on the BTS homepage at www.bts.gov and from there you can hover over statistical products and data and click on border crossing data. And this is the border crossing landing page. The data are available in three formats full database view, annual data view, and monthly view. For example, if you are searching for annual data, you can select on this option here, and you can select the desired year, measure, also known as mode, border, state, and port. Let's do a sample search for bus and bus passengers crossing at Linden, Washington from 2016 to 2018. So first we go to year, deselect all, select 2016, 17, 18, click apply, measure, we select bus passengers, and buses, click apply, border will be US Canada, state will be Washington, and the port will be Linden, Washington. Click apply, and we are presented with the data here. We can see in 2016, 871 bus passengers entered the U.S. from Canada and 29 buses. And we can also download this same data. If we do cross tab, we will get an option to download the data in uh, spreadsheet format. Now if we want to do another search, for example in the full database view, we can click here. Let's say we are interested in the total number of trucks entering Michigan between October 2017 and March 2018. First thing we need to do is click on filter and add a new filter condition and we will change the state abbreviation to MI Put a check mark there, and this needs to be in caps. And then we will do another filter. This time we will do date and change the is to is between. 
and for the dates we will need to type in October 0117 and the end date will be 03 31 18 and put a check mark there and finally we will need to add a third filter which will be the mode or measure and here we will type in trucks and again it needs to be uh, capital T and then lowercase r-u-c-k-s it needs to match exactly um, as it is here in the measure column then once we have that we can scroll up and select sort and roll up tab unselect sort and do roll ups and we want to group by state abbreviation and the next roll up will be value and the function will be sum click apply Now we can see there were 1,191,728 trucks entering the U.S. at Michigan ports of entry during that six month period. We can also export this data as well into CSV for Excel. And it will open up just like that. Thank you for watching. And please let us know if you have any questions.